Hello, I'm Mark Ells, Town Manager in Barnstable, and I'm here to provide you with an update relative to how we're progressing with the health and economic situations um, that, that we're managing relevant to uh, COVID-19. Um, you've heard our governor this week talk about reopening Massachusetts and his four-phased plan. Um, I, I have the privilege of serving on many committees locally, regionally, and at the state level, um, and get to interact with, with many communities, certainly across our state, and certainly all on Cape Cod. Um, many unanswered questions with this, so please remain patient. Um, as I've said in the past, uh, we are going to continue to comply with our governor's orders and directives, and that will be built into everything that we do in our community. I get many questions about, well, can't you um, just allow us to uh, play baseball on your fields? And, and if that is uh, a collection of more than 10 people right now under the governor's order, uh, that's difficult to do. And so uh, we, we are remaining patient to see once we begin to see the governor retract some of these requirements, um, we will begin to open up opportunity in our community. And the good news is that there's a real focus on outdoor activity and a big part of living on Cape Cod is outdoor activity. Whether it's our beaches, which have been able to remain open, uh, or um, recreational opportunities, uh, or our dog park, um, which is closed right now, uh, we're looking at how we can get everything open and or keep things open. Your your continued understanding and support is at the core of us achieving this. You have to use proper social distancing. You have to wear face covering when appropriate. It's not required all the time, um, but when appropriate, you, you, you have to wear face covering. Um, and you have to assist us as we begin to open up facilities. I get a lot of questions on our recycling area um, and our dog park. Uh, we are putting together plans to reopen both. And uh, they were closed specifically because people were not social distancing and were coming together in groups greater than 10. We are not gonna sit there and become the social distancing police. Um, if our facilities or programs, um, if, if in those programs we continue to see people not adhering to those general standards that we all are aware of, um, then we will close those facilities. We have many other pressing needs in our community to focus certainly our law enforcement and right now health officials on. Um, so uh, we respond on a complaint based incident by incident uh, basis at this point. And for the best, for the most part, that's what's expected of us um, from those who are creating these, these orders and, and giving us these directives. So I expect us to move into the start phase soon. Um, I, I see us going to what they're calling the new normal um, when, there are a, when there are many things achieved, one of which is a vaccine for this virus. So uh, prepare for a marathon here, not a sprint. Uh, I don't see us uh, coming out of this quickly. I also see us, uh, from an economic standpoint, um, having many challenges as we go forward in this fiscal year and in um, at least the, the next, if not the next two fiscal years. And for us, that's July till June. If you have the chance, please go onto our website, look at our budget for FY21, our operating budget, our capital budget is already there. We've posted it on our website. Um, We'll be presenting before town council at the next town council meeting. Mark Milne and I will be giving an update. And a big part of that update is going to be looking at our economic fiscal projections, specifically revenues. Um, and you'll hear from us a very different approach to the way that our government and governments in general, certainly local governments, have to manage 
um, budgets once you go through the approval process. So please, um, you know, if you have the time to view that, view that. We are planning to open our beaches. We are planning to open up Sandy Neck off-road vehicles and beach. Um, we are looking to offer uh, a summer leisure program at this time, but there are many unknowns with that and we're still working on it. We are looking to work with our businesses uh, across town, but certainly on Main Street uh, to see what we can do to help with um, social distancing when they begin to reopen. Things like closing Main Street, uh, you know, for, for certain periods of time through the summer months would be extremely helpful in allowing our residents and, and businesses um, to, to get back out outside, out on Main Street, and open their doors uh, so, that, so that we can begin to start this recovery process. Please ask questions. Um, even if it's a difficult question, please ask. Uh, there's many ways to reach out to us and communicate, uh, you know, uh, sh sh short of coming to my office without an appointment. Uh, that option still isn't open to you, but, but pretty much every other one is. The other thing we want to know is, I've said over and over, when we reopen, we're not going to do it the way we used to do it. Uh, that, that's not a that's not a uh, assumption that will be part of how we're going to have to move forward so we're going to start asking you questions in the near future about what this new program and service normal will be for your local government so stay tuned for that um, we're going to use a whole bunch I know our schools are already doing it reaching out to parents um, and you'll see more and more of that. So please take the time to help us uh, provide you the high quality of service that you're used to and that, that we want to be able to provide. Thank you.